guys, it's Risa. Welcome to my kitchen. I hope you're doing great. I'm very excited because I'm going to teach you how to make a high protein, delicious, nutritious, versatile, of course, because you know that's my favorite word, quinoa bowl or salad, whatever you want to call it. Everybody's calling everything bowls these days. It sounds so chic and fancy. I love it. Anyways, this is part two because part one, I just finished how to make a delicious peanut Thai dressing for it. Okay. Although the Thai dressing can be used on lots of things, on pastas, on vegetables, as a dip, on rice, on quinoa. So I wanted to make sure that you could find it easily. All right, so you can watch that video. Remember that all my recipes are written under each video. There's a little tiny arrow, just touch it and you'll find it, okay? So what are you gonna need? Well, I'm just gonna show you that I stir fried some Vidalia onion, mushrooms, I love lots of color. So of course I used red, orange, yellow peppers and zucchini and then I threw in some snow peas. If you have edamames, that would be delicious, okay? So whatever vegetables that you really like, about, I would say, four to five uh, cups worth because I'm making a lot. And that's because we're going to meal prep, all right? So I'm gonna teach you different ways of what you could add to this so that you could have it for lunch or for dinner, all right? And um, then you stay on track. When you have things prepared, you stay on track. And for me, I like to have things for several days in a row, and I like to shake it up a little bit as well, of course. Um, but this can be great for uh, your family, for a special occasion, any as a side dish, as a main dish, depending on what you add to it. So just saute the onions, caramelize them, add the vegetables, and that's it. And of course, I use a nice large uh, skillet on a medium high heat. Now, I found this amazing quinoa. Usually I use different types of quinoa, but I found this tricolor quinoa, and I've got it at Walmart, and it was like $5 for this package. It's called Go Go Quinoa. And all you do, people, it's really, really easy. Take one cup, and wash it really well and of course I use my strainer to wash it off add it to your medium size pot okay and then add a cup and a half of either water or I found Thai chicken broth I know so I found that at Walmart too so a cup of it I counted as one smart point okay and uh, so you just Add that, you let it come to a slight boil, all right? And then mix it, add the lid, and turn it right down, right, right, right down to low for 15 to 17 minutes, and then it'll get nice and fluffy. The other thing you could do for this Thai recipe is add some lemongrass to it um, while it's cooking, all right? And get some lemony flavor to it if you want or add some, a little bit of lime, whatever you like. So I've cooked it up and for one cup, it should be about two and a half cups worth of quinoa. So we're gonna just measure and check it out. So I'm gonna measure it and add it. I just wanna make sure you can see. So I'm gonna, oh, and the other thing is for a half a cup is two smart points, all right? So if you make it for the week and you divide it um, up, it's gonna be two smart points for this. And then depending on what dressing, if you use Mai Tai dressing or use another dressing, it's versatile. You can do what you want. So let's just see. So that's one. Two. And I believe it's another half a cup or so. Oops, my Fitbit came off. I'm just gonna look for my spoon. So about two and a half cups or so, a little bit over, that's okay. And then we're just gonna add this tiny bit left in here. 
All right, let's get rid of that. So we have our quinoa, we have our veggies. You're gonna have a lot of food. And then I have my dressing. So you're gonna have to watch my video for my peanut Thai dressing that's super delicious. You'll see that it's a nice consistency. And if you don't wanna use my dressing, um, you can find other dressings. Um, I found this one, it's a stir fry sauce that has coconut milk and lemongrass and chilies. It's quite spicy, this blue dragon, but you can find other dressings that you like. You can add it to it right away or you can add it as you eat it, okay? So again, you can decide. Now, I've shown you in other videos, I like these containers from Costco. So what I would do is, what I am doing is actually, I'm gonna just show you, I buy um, this chicken meat uh, from, well, this one is from No Frills and this one's from Walmart, the great value, all right? And I like to add some chicken meat one day, and uh, which I've done here. Um, I have some shrimp that I bought. You can buy at Costco, Walmart, any grocery store, thaw it out and um, add that. So I have that for another day. And then to shake it up, I added some shrimp and chicken. <laughs> and then I'll add it to that. Um, the other thing you could do is if you want to add some chickpeas to it, why not? Lots of high protein, okay? And I have leftover ground chicken meat um, in the fridge. You can add that to it. Um, I buy these chicken skewers, um, skewers at Costco, and you could add that. So lots of, ver lots of variety so that you don't get bored, okay? So I just take this and I'll put in, um, I'll measure it out usually because there's lots of vegetables. And if I have five portions, it's only two smart points. And that's a lot of food and you can mix it together, then add your sauce over it. Um, I'm gonna wait and add the sauce over it as I eat it. Um, so it's it's on top, but honestly, it's super delicious if you just add it right away, if you're eating it right away, okay? And, um, and that's it. Um, I like to have lots of things prepared. I'm just gonna add a little bit more quinoa. And then of course I have my lid. And then voila, you have your meals ready for you. Let me just add this. And what's great about it is you have a nice type of carb, which is your quinoa. You have lots of vegetables and you have lots of protein, okay? And then from your dressing, you have a good fat, a little bit of sesame oil in this whole thing, right? It's not much at all. So if you divide it like a tablespoon or so per um, portion, it's only gonna be five smart points for that recipe. You'll see the recipe, okay? And, uh, you will lose weight, people, if that's your goal or maintain. All right, so I hope you love this video. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Um, and of course, ring the bell so you get all my new videos by email. The old videos you can still get on my other channel or my other links that will be posted, all right? So thank you again for your lovely comments. Keep them coming. And I hope this recipe you really enjoy. And uh, of course, share it with anybody you know, all right? Anybody. They don't have to be WW peeps to love all these different tips and recipes and podcasts, all right? So take care. Mwah. I love you guys and enjoy this delicious quinoa Thai bowl. Bye for now.